please state your names for the folks at home, beginning with the you, young lady? Kate O'Brien. Kate O'Brien. Hey, that was the name of the character in the Drew Carey show. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Show. Yeah, that's amazing! <laughs> Kate O'Brien? Yes. From? Ireland. Nice. And you, sir? Jared Style. Jared Style? From? New York. Ah. Doesn't look anything like he does in the sandwich commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Do you two know each other? Yes. What's your relationship? It's my boyfriend. <laughs> it's your boyfriend, eh? Yes. So, you thought you would snare an American boyfriend to get yourself a passport, eh? <laughs> well, you picked the wrong guy, because Jared is, in fact, an undercover agent <laughs> for that... What's that thing, the people that used to chase me around all the time? <laughs> the, uh, the Arizona people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they called again? INS. INS, yeah, yeah, them. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, are, are you, uh, are, do you have American citizenship? No, I don't live here. Oh, you don't live here? No. Ah, so you thought you'd get yourself an Irish passport yeah. by snaring yourself a beautiful young Colleen from the Edinburgh Dial. Good on you, by the way. <laughs> I, have you been to Ireland? Yes. Which part? Uh, Dublin, mainly, but all over. Is that where you're from, Dublin? Yes. I see. Have you read the works of James Joyce? Don't worry, I neither has it. anyone else. <laughs> I don't even think James Joyce read the works of James Joyce. He's like, he, read, he wrote the first 50 pages and went, no one will get past this. <laughs> I look forward to your well-written critique of what I just said. <laughs> well, welcome to the... How long have you two been dating? Six years. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Come on. <laughs> Has the subject ever come up? <laughs> yeah. 6,000 miles. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a, yes, I see. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a musician. I see, and so uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a midwife. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to ask questions about that? No, no, I, I'm very, I have, I have two kids, I was there. Do you know what I was surprised at when the babies come out, though, is that all the additional material that you yeah, get. Yeah, surprising. Unbelievable. Yeah. I was like, no one tells you about that. I know, that's why you have a lot of fainting dads. Yeah, well, is that why they faint? I, I didn't faint, I went, woohoo! <laughs> surprise face. Yeah, it was a surprise. That was like bonus gift. Uh, <laughs> have you ever attended one of her midwifery events? No. no I see. <laughs> have uh, you ever attended one of his performances as a musician? I have, yes. Yeah. What do you play? I play guitar. Oh. You're quite cool, actually, aren't you? <laughs> You're, you're quite cool. You're, I'm kind of intimidated. <laughs> it's the last time we'll have somebody as cool as you on CBS, I tell you that. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right. Kate Jarrett. Sponsored by Advil Congestion Relief, the right relief for the real problem. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. every bit of it you've really cheered me up I was, I was very depressed because I thought look how high my tie is this evening now the tie is, I've worn this tie before it's the same length as every other time I've worn it so another part of me must have gotten larger I think I put on about what two inches over the I put on two, 
Is that? No, there, there you go. <sighs> now I'm going to be all self-conscious about my junk. <laughs> and by junk, I mean, you know, stomach. The other stuff ain't junk, baby. <laughs> you all right? You having a spasm Yeah, over there? no, uh, I came out, I was going to get going, I just, you know, I, I went off on a tangent. There's a shuck. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> America. But not a great day for America's first family, of course, the Kardashians. <laughs> TMZ is claiming that Chloe may not have the same father as the other sisters. I'm like, careful, TMZ. Don't want to make Chloe angry. You wouldn't like her when she's angry. <laughs> Chloe smash! Chloe smash! <laughs> you know, in North Korea, they announced they're going to embalm Kim Jong-il's body and put it on display like Russia did with Lenin and America did with Larry King. <laughs> there, right there! That was a joke right there! Good a genuine late-night joke! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. I, said, I love Larry King. He's perfectly... He's fine, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Taz Bono says he's saving up his money to buy a new penis. He actually said that. And I'm like, no, I'm not hating on Chaz Bono. I'm like, good for you, Chaz. But I'm seriously, where do you, where do you buy a brand new penis? Because, you know, I might be on the market for one myself. Where do you go? JC Penis? Go ahead and Jeff. Forever 21 inches. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, yeah, there we go. Bed, bath, and boner. Uh, Hugo Bulls. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hugo Bulls. Anyway, not a great day if you like the, the yoga. You know the yoga, you know the practice of physical and spiritual and mental discipline from India? Namaste, bitches. Well... <laughs> The New York Times, uh, uh, an article in the New York Times says that yoga could be dangerous. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> What's that? Greg, are you implying that yoga can be deadly? <laughs> I didn't exactly say deadly, Jeff. I said dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Pleasant. <laughs> ah. Ah, yoga's not dangerous. Next they'll be telling us that other pleasant things are dangerous, like scrapbooking or heroin. <laughs> <laughs> you just go, oh, there? <laughs> Somebody awed me for saying heroin wasn't pleasant. It's almost as if they knew. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Jeff, carry on for a minute. I've got some now. <coughs> Hugo Bowles. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, the New York Times article says that yoga-related injuries are on the rise. What happens is that people sit at chairs all day and then they, they, they work and then they twist into a pretzel and expect it to be easy and they hurt themselves. It's like if you were a brainless action star all your life and then going out and trying to govern the state of, to of California, right there. <laughs> see what I see you that? Right there. Now, that's your topical humour. How long has he been out of office? About two years now. That's what we strive for here. That's what we do here. We do the late night show with all the topical jokes about stuff in the news. <laughs> the hell are you laughing at? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the New York Times article made, has made a lot of people mad, and these people are called hippies. <laughs> ah, it's not fair. Yoga's popular with all kinds of people. Athletes, students, even Canadians. <laughs> There's, no, William Shatner does a lot of, of yoga. Up, oh, dog. Down. Down. Up, oh, dog. Down. Can you do William Shatner doing yoga? Up, da. Up, 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 da. I like when you do it. It gets me Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you should do it, Matthew McConaughey doing yoga. All right, everybody. We're going to do the downward dog. All right, all right, all right. Now, just get out your mask and go up, up dog, up, up down, down. Up, dog, down, up, down, down. Take down. your shirts off. Sean Connery doing yoga? Up, dog. <laughs> You're the man now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, it's not surprising yoga fans are upset with this article. After all, it's easy for them to get bent out of shape. <laughs> You're seriously applauding that kind of mediocrity? <laughs> I mean, really, think about what you just did there. Do you believe that? The hell are we doing vaudeville here? Yeah, come on. What are we, a man in his appliance? <laughs> oh, yeah. We should, you know what we should do? We should go in the road. Oh, I'd love that. We should go in the road, to roam from town to town, a man and his appliance. <laughs> yeah, like, like Hope and Crosby. Yeah, yeah, or Abbott and Costello, or uh, uh, the other one and that guy. <laughs> yeah, or, or Lewis and Clark. <laughs> it's a little too skeleton-y for me. <laughs> a lot of older people are discovering yoga too, which I think is great, but I do get a little nervous whenever I see an older person doing yoga. I'm scared something's gonna fly off. <laughs> In some parts of Asia, children as young as three years old practice yoga. It keeps them fresh for a long day at the shoe factory. That's not... I think that's too much. I think that's too much. I don't think that's a good thing to do. I... That's... We'll, we'll, we'll not say that on the show. <laughs> that didn't happen. That tasteless piece of crap didn't occur. Which tasteless piece of crap? Anyone you found tasteless. <laughs> anyway, I admit, I did practice yoga for a while. You wouldn't know that by looking at me now, but I used to enjoy yoga. I did. You wouldn't know by looking at me now, I used to enjoy life. <laughs> <laughs> I found yoga very relaxing. I'd wake up every morning, I'd bend my nose to my balls for half an hour, then I'd start, <laughs> then I'd start doing some yoga. <laughs> Do you a picture of me doing the yoga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, Strangely enough, that's the same face I make when I'm scrapbooking. <laughs> on heroin. <laughs> Yoga is very popular in LA because the best way to practice it is to free your mind of any thought. <laughs> <laughs> is that a laugh or some kind of nasal problem? I have something in my throat. <sighs> <sighs> really? What do you have in your throat? No, no, man, seriously. Oh, you like really that. do? Oh, I'm sorry, man. No, I, oh, I feel terrible. I yeah. thought it was you were setting me up for some kind of vaudeville routine. I get something in my throat. Who's on first? yakety do. What kind of sick mind does it work over there? I'm sorry, man. Would you go do some scrapbooking? <laughs> do I do the commercials? I'd love to. All right, do them. Tonight's program is brought to you by Hugo Balls. Stop by for our free extended membership. Jared, uh, adorable. He, adorable. He's from uh, he's from uh, New York. He's from Ireland. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if there are any Irish people in New York, though. <laughs> what? Look out, folks! Social commentary. <laughs> Why are you being sarcastic tonight? Are you something wrong? Your no, biorhythms off? I'm just, you know, man. I got a bad plug thing going on over here. Bad plug? My plug is frayed. Your pl oh, plug! Yeah, your uh, <clears throat> thing. <laughs> you want to talk to Chas Bono? Apparently, you can get a new plug if you want one. <laughs> hey, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Well, I'll tell you, Craig. Okay, then. It's tweet mail time. Okay. So many tweets, so little time. That's it? <laughs> Namaste, bitches. Ah, there you are. All right, now you got it. Boom. All right, this 
is from uh, Tanya in Brisbane, Australia. Ooh, Brisbane, Australia. You ever been to Brisbane, Ooh, Australia? Yeah, you got a little place there, there yeah. like your yeah. oh, dingo stone, my baby. Fantastic. <laughs> this is from Tanya in Brisbane, Australia. <laughs> Hey, Craig and Jeff, I was thinking of going into show business and I was wondering what suggestions you may have for me. I don't know, I'm not in show business. <laughs> this, is, this, isn't, this isn't show business. This is a desperate attempt for attention. <laughs> from a very needy man with a very large penis. This is a cry for help. <laughs> Um, this is uh, from Andrea in Gainesville, Florida. Oh, I love it down there. Uh, and I also like Florida. Um, this is... Uh, <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, my boyfriend wants me to call him Daddy during sex, but I think it's too creepy. Am I being a prude? Nah. I don't know. What, what do you think? Well, I enjoyed being called Margaret during sex. <laughs> I like to be called the accused during sex. Yes, I know. Thanks, Margaret. Thanks, the accused. Join us next week for another scintillating episode of Margaret and the Accused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear, uh, no, wait a minute, this is from Dave in Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, Dear Craig and Jeff, I just bought my girlfriend and I tickets to your show in Shreveport next Friday. Oh, that's in Shreveport, Louisiana. That could be a long distance from uh, Lafayette. Also, Jeff won't be there. He's uh, at home with Margaret. <laughs> Have you ever been to Shreveport? It's my first time going to Shreveport next oh, week. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a place there. You'll love it. You have a place in Shreveport? I certainly do. Which part of Shreveport? The lower portion. I see. <laughs> Uh, what should we expect? I don't know. I don't plan ahead for that. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, I broke my ban. I wasn't going to cuss. I wasn't going to... Uh, I got on uh, This is from Michael in Montreal, Quebec, who says... Do we have Quebecois in the crowd? Do we? No, we don't. We just have somebody who wanted to draw attention to themselves. Well, I know how you feel. Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretary... You know what we haven't done in forever? We haven't done slow secretariat. <laughs> no. Oh, I love slow oh, secretariat. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can coax that fella out of his hole. <laughs> well, we have to just, you get the organs and you get them humming gently. And sometimes if you get the organ, humming, humming, no, you, oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes if you, <laughs> that's not cussing, that's just an, expressing yourself. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, if you get the organ sound just right, that fella will just peep his little head out there and the horse will come out too. All right. Ready? Yeah. New York says, hello, Mr. Ferguson and Jeff Peterson. You seem to take a lot of interest in philosophy. Do you live by any particular philosophy? Yes, I do. Ass mode. <laughs> right, Jeff? That's correct. Ass mode is a way of life. Ass mode is a way of life. When you see on the tweet mail jingle when it goes, ass mode, people are like, what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. What does it mean, Jeff? <laughs> means it's a way of life. <laughs> Thanks, Margaret. <laughs> You're welcome, the accused. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
He's very keen. <laughs> he heard there was an Irish girl in the audience. <laughs> My next guest is the Dr. House. He returns uh, Monday on January the 3rd on Fox. He's got a new album out called <laughs> Let Them Talk, which is in stores now. It's really good, actually. Uh, please welcome... Oh, I forget who it is again. <laughs> Hugh Laurie, everybody! Hugh Laurie. First of all, Hugh, may I congratulate you because the last time you were here, you were promoting this Let Them Talk CD, yes. and you were a little concerned that yes. people uh, were going to not think it was good because you were an actor. Yes. Yeah, and it's very good, and everyone said it's very good. So, congrats. And the, you sold lots of it, and now you're rich, and you can tell Fox to go and get away. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> No, well, thank you. No, it's thank you for for most, for most of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, 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 yes, I was very apprehensive. You're right, and and and. Um, I can tell. Look, you look, you even look apprehensive there. You're like, well, oh, actually, I, uh, no, but believe it or not, that's not the apprehensive side. Oh, this side here this is, side even is more? the apprehensive side. Yeah. Do you uh, do you favour one side over the other? And I'm talking about your penis here now, obviously. <laughs> I, I, I assumed. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, I, no, I don't. Really? You're no, one of those rare you... men that's ambidextrous. <laughs> no, you mean, I mean, facially symmetrical? You mean? I'm still on the penis, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, do you have a, one of those direct straight line penises, or as they are known in the sex trade, the autobahn? <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I... I gotta say, I shocked myself there. <laughs> and I was thinking at that moment, the chair's still cold. <laughs> and we're already on... Uh, on the uh, autobahn, yeah, yeah. On, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, well, obviously none of your business, but... Right. Uh, <laughs> since you ask... Yeah. Well, what was the question? I can't remember. <laughs> It's nice to see you anyway. Hey, do you know who I bumped into on the way uh, to Scotland when I was going for Christmas? It was Emma Thompson sat next to me on the plane. Oh, well, really? Yeah, yeah. And she she's said, how's you doing? I said, I don't know. I think he's on the show soon. So how are you doing? I am doing very well. Please, really? please tell her that. But I will, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, I'm doing very well. I'm very well. I'm very well. I'm very, really? very well. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's wrong? Well, man? exactly. Yeah, yeah. You see, that's what I worry. Well, you try and create something to make you feel I more do. comfortable, yeah. I do. Well, We've I talked about this, though, I, I think. Yeah, you need yeah. a bit of therapy. It's a strange Presbyterian thing. I worry when things are going too well that there's some price to be paid to be exact. Well, it's because you have an essential mistrust of the universe. You have to live a little more ass mode. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't exactly come here with a list of questions, but I came with one, and okay. that is, what is... Ass mode. Ass mode. I mean, I ask it on behalf of everyone, I think. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I answer you by saying, Jeff? Ass mode is a way of life. It's a way of life. <laughs> and that's about as far as we've thought it through, really. I, we haven't really backed it up with any kind of, you know, right. philosophy or anything. It's right. just a kind of, kind of bumper stepper, you know, blah, 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 thing. Blah. Bumper stepper blah, blah, thing. Yeah. You'll be president before long. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't be president. Why not? Because I was born. Oh, you're not born here. Yeah. No, no, no. But I thought they were going to change that. Only if Arnie was still popular. Too but no. <laughs> but when they found out about the maid, they're like, no pet. Doesn't matter. Yeah. No. We can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, never mind yeah. that one. Yeah. Are you going on tour with this music, by the way? I am. Really? I, am. Yeah, I absolutely am. Bus yes. and band and, and bus and I can I can picture the bus. I can picture the bus and I, and I can picture the sort of the, the stupid flowers I'm going to paint down the side of it. <laughs> Yeah. Partridge Family bus? A little bit. Oh, nice! Yeah. Hey, do you need a guitarist? Because Jared's in from New York. He's very cool. I know. He's... Yeah. It, it, it's a 12-seater, it's a Jared, so yeah. by all means, on you come. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how, well, how big's the band? We're, um, six in all. Really? Six. So you got your, you, you're, you're, you're playing the piano. Yeah. Right, and then you then go... there's an organ, a sort of Hammond organ-y right. keyboard player. Right, uh, yeah, then you'll need the maracas, timpani... Uh, All of that yeah, stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> flute. We don't have a flute, which may be a mistake. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it means I'm not coming to see you, that's for sure. <laughs> I like a bit of flute. We do have a harmonica player. Yeah. 
Mm, sorry, sorry. So that it gets in the way of my next question then. So <laughs> Are you going all over America then? Well, I hope so. Well, what do you mean? Are you? you uh, I mean, well, I don't know where we're going yet. It's a sort of, it's a bit of a mystery tour. It's a, a like. mystery tour? Well, is there, uh, <laughs> they, they should tell you where you're going. No, in case you have I, to contact your family or something, I, you could say, hey, I'm, I'm here in uh, Shreveport or something. I know, they should. But the thing is, I'm not very good at the future. I'm not very good at the past either. <laughs> um, but I can't, if a thing happens more than about a, an hour ahead, I can't remember it. I, so they, may, they could tell me where I'm going and I won't remember uh, five minutes later. So they may as well not tell me until we get there. That's, if I may say so, that is Odd. adorable. Oh. Adorable, yeah. It makes me, because I'm Thank always you. rather intimidated by your massive intellectual power. But to know that you're kind of scatterbrained. You don't and, show it. No, no, I am. No, I am. <laughs> I am. Yes, I am. I'm no, a, no, no, no. Little, no, uh, what? No, I'm a buffoon. No, you're uh, not a buffoon. I oh, I, uh, yeah, you play the fool, Claudius, yes, but I know who yes. you are. Underneath. Yeah. Yes. You, you, you can do that thing with your eyebrow. Uh, I, I can do it with that eyebrow, not that one. Which brings me back to your testicles. <laughs> Would you like me to stop? No, no, I quite like it, actually. It no, you should do it. You should work that now. in the house. Yes. Well, I, I, the house's of, eyebrow freezes because a, of all the drugs. It's a sort of eyebrow... <laughs> <laughs> it's a sort of eyebrow limp. Yeah, yeah. 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 Limp, eyebrow. Yeah. People love this. Save yeah. it for sweeps, though. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. Exactly. What happens in Dr. House this year? Does he go crazy and uh, shoot up the joint? Again. Yeah. And it's the same thing. They, they sometimes... They used to tell me what was going to happen. Ah. I see where you're going with this. No, you and don't know. by the time it happened, it was all, it was all a surprise to me because I'd forgotten everything they told me. Um, I, honestly, I, if, it, if it's more than a day ahead, and actually, it's, it's worse than that in a way. I sort of agree to things that are, that are six months ahead. Oh, I do this. Do you? Yes, yes, because I agree. Because I can't really conceive of there being a universe. As right, as right, as exactly, yes. And if, they, if there is a universe, I won't be alive. Right, yet. right, right. And so you so agree I'll to do say, stuff. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah I'll do it. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be your best man at that wedding. Yeah. The, 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 person, yeah. the person that I absolutely hate and she broke my heart. Absolutely, I love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, because I, I just assume I won't be alive. Um, <laughs> also, I do that. This year's particularly tricky for me because I'm a very strict Mayan. Right, right. Oh, so yeah, I don't expect to make it beyond this all year. All sorts so, uh, of uh, ringed days in your diary, I would think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of depressed ourselves yeah. a little bit, yes. didn't we? Do you want to take a commercial break? Uh, no, you take it. I can't even begin to imagine how that's going to turn out. Yeah, I... I, it's, yeah. It's, uh, I if you find out, though, I'd like to know. Hygiene since you. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah. of course, I'll, I'll, I will pass it on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Billy Connolly working with you this week. We were just talking yes, about that. Yes, yeah. Billy Connolly. Absolutely wonderful. I mean... Uh, Scottish, you know. He is Scottish. Yes, he is Scottish. Yes. Yeah. Um, he's very Scottish, yes. Oh, well, he's a, a, as Scottish as you can get yeah, without going round so uh, the other way and, and coming, and coming right around again. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, my, my parents were Scottish. And I know. My own from my, but uh, doesn't make you Scottish, buddy. No, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't. No. 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 <laughs> d d d no I, I'm not going to fight you on that. I completely agree. And right. I gave up a long time ago any of that sort of nonsense about well, underneath here, I'm a beats the heart of it. It's nonsense. I, I was just yeah, yeah, well, I mean, put that. Um, put that. How That's an old Scottish word. You wouldn't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I love and revere the Scots. They're a phenomenal people. Me too. Uh, me too. Who basically more or less in, invented the modern world. Absolutely. Now, you may think that's a slightly big claim, but you actually go to the... the it's true. It is. Yeah. yeah. Scottish Enlightenment. That's Scottish what it's all from, you know. They, it's they, all from the Scottish Enlightenment. Don't let them fool you. They, they, uh, <laughs> they punch above their weight. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Anyway, the sort of Americans probably fed up with this now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's on the American channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're out of time. Would you fancy a uh, mouth organ? I don't think you should do a mouth organ. You've already won the gold mouth organ. I, I do, and yeah, I, tr yeah. I treasure it. Uh, it's, it's a very precious thing. Yeah, well, it's expensive. I hope you take care of it. Yeah, I do. I have a man come and service it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to it. No, but I... Are we I, still... Yeah, never mind. Uh,
Well, so we can either go for awkward pause or big cash prize. Oh, big cash prize. Oh, yeah. yeah. What time is it, Shadow it's Steven? Time for the big cash prize. Fifty American dollars, two ways to win. Here's I don't touch the money until you've earned it. All right. Okay. <laughs> two ways to win. You can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. <sighs> guess what's in my box means I imagine a box. I don't know what's in it. Jeff knows what's in it. You guess what's in the box. If you're right, we check with Jeff and you win the money. It's tricky, but it sometimes works. I swear. <laughs> this show is like stepping into someone else's dream. It's uh, <laughs> it's just very well yours. Yeah. I yes. Exactly. Um. Uh. Uh, okay, well, well, I'll go for the question. I'll yeah, go for the, the I think that's very wise. Is it? I don't know what's in the box tonight, but I don't think it's good. Well, I knew it was asparagus. I just didn't want to. Uh... Jeff, was it asparagus? <laughs> no. no, it was Autobahn. All right, okay. <laughs> Autobahn? All right, then, uh, here's the question. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Before it was torn down, how long was the Berlin Wall? <laughs> <laughs> Was it 50 miles long? Was it 100 miles long? Or was it 150 miles long? I'll say that again. Was it 50 miles long? Was it 100 miles long? Or was it 150 miles long? But are you, are you bluffing me? Are you actually... Are you, are you... A little bit of a mind game? What seems right to me is a hundred miles. That's is a... the correct answer, you lawyer. Fifty American dollars for you. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest, I, I've got to be honest, has, has been here most of the evening. Uh, and if you don't recognize him, the, here's a partial view of his face. <laughs> this side here, or the Autobahn side, <laughs> this is where he's anxious, this is where he's calm. He can do his eyebrow on this side, but not on this side. <laughs> You're welcome, Hugh Laurie chat rooms. He's back to sing, uh, well, he's covering a Ray Charles song, Un Unchain My Heart. Please welcome my friend, the lovely Hugh Laurie, everybody. Hugh Laurie.
me go my way. Welcome back to the show, everybody. <laughs> Kate and Jared are still here. <laughs> and they're still going out that six years and an hour. <laughs> so, here's what we figured. A little bit of extra time, a little money, because there's only one guest tonight, you, who left with the 50 bucks. So there's an extra 50 bucks, and you left the CD, so it's time. What time is it, Shadows Davis? It's time for the big cash prize. With the additional Hugh Laurie CD. So, here's what you can win. All you have to do is either guess what's in my box or answer a question. Which would you prefer? Um, it's on you. Answer a question. Answer a question. <laughs> you ready? Jeff, do you want to read the question? How dare you? <laughs> yeah. oh, I love doing that. Uh, no, all right. Um, here we are. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, you can use this uh, 50 bucks to perhaps pay something. <laughs> Maybe have an event together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. True or false? Panama hats were actually invented in the neighboring country of Ecuador. True or false? True or false? True I think or false? Probably. Do, no, wait, don't answer too quickly. <laughs> true or false? Um, true. True is the correct answer. You win $50. You win a CD. 